So right now we're in um, our bake school. We actually call it BAKE, B-A-K-E, with an exclamation point, all capitalized. And this is where we teach uh, baking lessons to home bakers. And we started it four years ago. Uh, we teach a between five and six classes a week. We pretty much teach practically anything that we make at the bakery. So we have uh, one class that's called Mambo Italiano where we teach three of the Italian breads that we make. So we make ciabatta and sesame semolina, uh, for example, and that's a pretty popular class. We have a pie making class where we teach people how to make several different kinds of pie crust and then a couple of different pie fillings. Uh, and then one of our most popular classes, which Shelby is getting ready for right now, is uh, a pizza class in which we teach three different kinds of pizza. And that class just sells out. So we decided we really wanted this room to be very casual. You know, sometimes you can go to different schools and they can be wonderful, but they're very, very fancy. Uh, we wanted to replicate an environment that might be more like someone's home. I mean, obviously the space is not exactly, but we wanted an, an oven and we have a really little oven over there that's just like anybody's gas oven. We just wanted wooden benches that were simple that might be like someone's countertop because we really want people to learn how to do it and it's easier for them to learn how to do it and then replicate it if what they're using here is very similar to what they'll use at home. I think that this has been really one of the best things that we've done in the last 10 years uh, for a number of reasons. One is we're located in an industrial park, which is not a primary retail location, and sometimes difficult to get people to make the effort to find us. Now they have another reason to come. So many people who didn't come to our retail shop have made the effort to come to our baking school, and now they are repeat customers of the retail shop. So for that reason, it's been very good strategically. Also, you know, Zingerman's has gotten to be have a bigger and bigger name, and I think sometimes people no longer see us as individuals or a business to have a personal relationship with. But by coming to these baking classes that are really small and quite intimate, they start to develop a personal relationship with Zingerman's Bakehouse again, and they know us, they meet us, and they don't think, oh, Zingerman's Bakehouse, they think Amy, Shelby, Frank. And so I think that's been really, really good for our business. And then our retail shop, the sales have grown the tremendously in the last two years. So, you know, I can't say for sure that it's because of Bake, but I'm sure that Bake has not hurt their retail sales. So I think overall it's been a, it's been a good thing.